Hello and welcome everybody to this uh, short seminar provided uh, for dentinal tubules. My name is Andrew Chandrapal. I'm a general dental practitioner working both uh, in GDP in uh, Buckinghamshire and, uh, and in London. And I'd just like to spend a, a little bit of time with you today on discussing my own tips on improving class 2 restorations um, using composite resin. Um, it's something that I do an awful lot of and uh, I'm, I'm very glad um, to be asked to uh, to share some of my ideas with you on dentinal tubules. So thank you to dentinal tubules for allowing me the opportunity to do this um, and I hope that I can be of help to everybody uh, today. Just a little bit of background really. I um, work in everyday dentistry. I have the same sort of time constraints and cost constraints as, as many other uh, colleagues out there so um, a lot of what you see today and a lot of what you hear really is um, real life um, dentistry provided in the general practice environment so personally for me I need to ensure that whatever it is I do things are effective and efficient and relatively simple and pre predominantly this is to maintain standards to continue to improve standards and to also um, meet the demands and needs of my patients um, that are ever more discerning and aware of what's available to us through various forms of media. So uh, f for me posterior composites uh, forms a large part of that um, and part of my learning curve um, within this sort of started about about sort of 13 or 14 years ago um, after being in practice for a few years and so I, I had to ask the question really why um, and uh, in order to answer some of those questions I needed to ask the question in the first place. So in terms of posterior composites um, I wanted to approach our discussion today in a slightly broader sense and then we'll home in on some of the class 2 elements in a bit more detail later on. As most of us know amalgam fillings and restorations have been around for um, well over a hundred years and um, in many hands they've, they've appeared to work very well and very effectively. So we must look to justify ourselves and our means um, and our existence when we're using composite resin and for me this is probably one of the most important parts. Um, adhesive um, dentistry has come on in leaps and bounds in the last sort of um, 20, uh, 20 years and particularly in the last sort of eight or nine years for me it's really been a paradigm shift in terms of learning some of the techniques that have been uh, created through years of research and painstaking effort and really the ability to bond predictably to enamel and dentine is now here um, and using a few different techniques to which we, well most of us may have been taught at an undergraduate level 